In this lesson, we learn how to do a binomial expansion with a negative power. For a binomial that has a first term of 1, which is when we have two terms inside a bracket with the first being a 1, we can write this as a Taylor series as so. We can see that the power of x increases by 1 each time and the coefficient changes from n, n brackets n minus 1, n brackets n minus 1, brackets n minus 2, and so on, while the denominator of the fraction increases from 2 factorial to 3 factorial, and so on. This series is only valid for x values between minus 1 and 1. When n is negative, the series contains an infinite number of terms, so we only find the first few terms as requested in the question. Here are the steps. Factorise if necessary to make the first term 1. Substitute the values of n and x into the formula above. Simplify each term and write the values of x for which the expansion is valid. For example, find the first four terms of 2 plus 10x to the power of negative 2. We always refer to the series expansion shown. Step 1. We have a 2 as the first term and our rule only works if we have a 1 as the first term. We must factorise the 2. Doing so, we now halve the bracket to get 1 and 5x. Notice we still have 2 to the power of minus 2. We always need to remember to raise this factor to the power as well. 2 to the minus 2 equals 1 quarter. We can leave 1 plus 5x inside because the first term is now a 1. Now we can substitute the values of n and x into the formula. x is the second term after the 1, which for us is 5x. n is the power, which here is minus 2. We can substitute into the formula but we can see that we have one quarter in front of our binomial brackets, so we write this before our expansion. Our expansion becomes 1 plus nx, which for us is minus 2 times 5x. This fraction becomes minus 2 minus 3 over 2 factorial because if n equals minus 2, then n minus 1 equals minus 3. x squared becomes 5x squared, all in brackets. This fraction becomes minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, all over 3 factorial. And x cubed is 5x cubed for us. Now we just take this expansion and simplify each term, leaving the quarter outside for now. 1 is 1. Minus 2 times 5x equals minus 10x. Minus 2 times minus 3 divided by 2 factorial times 5 squared equals 75. And we have x squared. Minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4 divided by 3 factorial equals minus 4 and multiplied by 5 cubed equals minus 500. We have x cubed. Now we have simplified, we just need to multiply each term in the brackets by 1 quarter. 1 times 1 quarter equals 1 quarter minus 10x times a quarter equals minus 5 over 2x. 
75 x squared times a quarter equals 75 over 4 x squared and minus 500 x cubed times a quarter equals minus 125 x cubed. This is our simplified binomial expansion for 2 plus 10 x to the power of minus 2. It is only valid for x values between minus 1 and 1. We used an x equal to 5x. Dividing all terms by 5, x must be between minus 1 fifth and 1 fifth. In this next example, we will find the first three terms of 1 over 5 minus 3x to the power of 4. We will refer to our expansion formula. Step 1. We first write our fraction as a power. Because 5 minus 3x is on the denominator, we can write this as 5 minus 3x to the power of minus 4. We need to factorise the 5 out to make the first term equal 1. Dividing the brackets by 5, 5 divided by 5 equals 1, and 3x divided by 5 becomes 3 over 5x. We need to remember to raise 5 to the power of minus 4 to get 1 over 625. We can keep 1 minus 3 over 5x as the first term is 1. Step 2. Our x is minus 3 over 5x and our n is minus 4. Our expansion contains a 1 over 625 in front of it. We have 1, nx is minus 4 times minus 3 fifths x. And our third term is minus 4 minus 5 over 2 factorial and x squared is minus 3 fifths x to the power of 2. We do not need the next term as the question only requires the first three terms. We take this expansion and simplify term by term. We leave the coefficient of 1 over 625. 1 is 1. Minus 4 times minus 3 fifths x equals plus 12 over 5 x. Minus 4 times minus 5 divided by 2 factorial equals 10. And 10 times minus 3 fifths to the power of 2 equals 18 over 5. We also have x squared. We now multiply each term by 1 over 625. 1 times 1 over 625 equals 1 over 625. 12 over 5x times 1 over 625 equals 12 over 3125x. And 18 over 5x squared times 1 over 625 equals 18 over 3125 x squared. This is the binomial expansion of 1 over 5 minus 3x to the power of 4 to the first three terms. We now write the values of x for which it is valid. x must be between minus 1 and 1. Our x is minus 3 fifths x. Dividing by minus 3 fifths x, we get x must be between minus 5 over 3x and 5 over 3x. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.